Hey, this is Sri Hari from Mr. Phone, and today I have a device that I am very happy to share with you. So, Motorola, as you know, has been making phones forever, and in India, Motorola has been a big name since the beginning of Android. We saw exceptional phones from Motorola in the Moto G series with the Moto G1, Moto G2. We saw the beautiful Moto X, the Moto X2. So, Motorola made amazing phones, but with competition becoming bitter, Motorola products didn't really seem very appealing. We saw that because the G series phones, the latest ones, the Moto G7 and even the G6 before that, weren't really compelling for the price that they were being offered it. That said, there was one dark horse from Motorola and that was the Motorola One Power, the Motorola One series, the Android One phones from Motorola. And the Motorola One Power was simply phenomenal. Today we have another Motorola phone and I really like this one. Here is Sri Hari from Mr. Phone. In this video, we're going to take a first look at the Motorola One Vision and let you know maybe if it is really worth looking at. So without any further ado, let's jump right in. that if you haven't subscribed to the channel please do that because as i said we create awesome videos and hit the bell icon right next to it so that you get notified whenever we put out a new video now first let's talk about design now coming to design motorola hasn't really been known for a long time as being a design powerhouse and we haven't really seen shiny phones coming out of the motorola factory that said the last year's moto g7 and g6 were actually quite good looking phones with glass at the back this year with the motorola one vision we again have glass at the back and it is in fact gorilla glass at both the front and the back of the phone now that glass back is of course beautiful but what's more beautiful is the blue gradient that i see here i am actually glad that it's only a gradient of blue so you have a light gradient versus a darker vision all the colors of the motorola one vision look quite good and they are among the better looking motorola phones in this price segment now apart from that coming to design at the back you have a camera bump which is actually quite large so if you keep it on the table you'll see that there is a, a slight wobble that said if you type in the bottom part of the phone it doesn't wobble as much that's because it's slightly taller phone we'll talk about that in the display section but it is a slightly taller phone and it is less wide so it'll come in your hand very easily apart from that now on the right side of the phone you have the power button and the volume rocker the power button is actually a ridged power button so if you put your hand on top if you put your finger on top of the power button and the volume button you will be able to tell them apart not just because of the size but also because of the different texture on the power button on the left you have a sim tray which is a hybrid sim slot so you can put one sim and one micro sd card or two sims inside now hybrid sim slots are something that a lot of people worry about because if you go on youtube and see hacking your hybrid slot you can find that in a lot of videos so maybe motorola could have gone with a triple slot design here but a hybrid slot design is what you get uh, at the back as i said you have a camera bump but apart from that you have the motorola logo as well but that logo has been embedded inside the fingerprint scanner and I think it's an absolute beautiful combination that you have the fingerprint scanner inside the Motorola logo. We, we saw this on a previous Moto phone as well, but I really like that Motorola brought it back with the One Vision. Motorola One, oh yeah. With this one, you do get a USB Type C port at the bottom and a single speaker and a noise cancelling microphone. And on the top, you have the headphone jack. Now, with the single speaker, we've actually not gone and done a full review for the phone, so please wait for that if you want to see that. But in the initial testing, the speaker sound quality is actually quite good. It's loud and it's a very balanced and crisp sound out of this. We've tried a lot of mono speakers in our time reviewing these phones and I think this is among the better ones out there. Let's come to the next part of the phone, which is the display and which is probably the most interesting part of the Motorola One Vision because here is a punch hole cutout. So yes, the Motorola One Vision has a punch hole display. Yes, this is an IPS LCD display with a 1080p plus resolution, but that plus also has something interesting hidden because this is not a 16 by 9. Of course, you can tell that this is not an 18 by 9 aspect ratio. This is not 19 by 9 even. This is not... 20 okay i could go forever with that but this is a 21 is to 9 aspect ratio display this is how you watch films 21 is to 9 is what you find in a lot of theaters that is 
the aspect ratio on this phone. We also saw the phone come out in a lot of pictures. We never got to test that out in our own hands, but this is the first 21 is to 9 aspect ratio phone that I've tested and it actually looks quite good for that. Now the display quality itself is actually quite good. We also watched a few 21 by 9 trailers uh, on YouTube on the Motorola One Vision and it's absolutely phenomenal. It's just a unique feeling that you get if you have such an aspect ratio on a phone. Uh, if you ever get a chance to test out the Motorola One Vision, just go to YouTube and maybe watch a movie trailer and you'll understand what I'm trying to tell you. One thing about the display that seems to be bugging me a little bit is the bezel size around it. Uh, the chin is actually quite fine, but the bezel all around the phone is slightly on the thicker side. Top bezel is also slightly thicker than the side bezels. So I think there is slightly less parity all around the design of the phone and you can find that even around the camera module. Now, it's not like Motorola wanted to have bigger bezels all around the display. It's just that this is an LCD display and LCD display is lit up by a backlight, not like AMOLED displays where individual pixels are their own light source. So for an LCD display, you have all the colors and everything that you want on the display and there's a backlight that makes it brighter if, when, you, when you increase the brightness. It's the backlight that increases in brightness, a white backlight. And what generally happens if you don't tune the display and engineer the display in well is that there is light leakage in the display. And I think on in all our reviews, you've, you've seen us talk about light bleeds and anything. So what Motorola has done is that they've kept the light source at the bottom and they've tunneled all that light source all around the display so that the light is also spread out evenly and there is as less light bleed as possible. That is why there are slightly thicker bezels on the Motorola One Vision display. So it's a compromise that you have to make if you don't want light bleed on your panels. And I think the Motorola One Vision has done a great job at making sure that that happens. This keeps happening. I'm sure a lot of you know what it is, but Drula has uh, a gesture where you do this and it'll turn on and I move the phone a lot apparently. Software, the Motorola One Vision is as good as it gets because inside this you get Android One software, which means vanilla clean stock Android, and I love it. It's the smoothest that an Android phone can be because stock Android is as light as it gets. So it is almost a pixel like experience on the Motorola One Vision. Uh, if you uh, this runs on Android 9 Pie. So for example, in the drawer, you get Chrome suggestions, you get contact suggestions, you even get Spotify suggestions just in the app drawer, which is a smart app drawer. You have the new pill navigation that Android Pie comes with. And I actually prefer that. I actually like using that. Even I liked using that on the Pixel 3a XL. And I like that I've come back to using it on the Motorola One Vision. Also, this has that dark mode. For example, if you have a darker wallpaper, it'll automatically turn to dark mode all over the phone. And if you have a lighter wallpaper, it'll have light mode on the phone. So one of the best things is that the software experience has been enhanced by a good haptic feedback engine. That is something I did not expect to see from a Motorola phone in this price range because haptic feedback engines are generally very expensive parts in a phone and to have such a good haptic feedback engine in this phone at this price is I think amazing. So the haptic feedback engine also what does is it enhances your software experience if it is implemented at the right places and I think in the Motorola One Vision they have been implemented at the right places. From software, let's move on to performance and inside the Motorola One Vision, you get the Exynos 9609. So the Motorola One Vision sports the Samsung chip and it is a Samsung chip. It's not unusual because Motorola has been partnering with Exynos for a long time. There are a lot of Motorola phones that come with Exynos chipsets and the 9609 is actually a slightly downgraded version of the 9610 that we see inside the Samsung Galaxy A50. When, and when I say slightly, that's an overstatement because it's only a hundred hertz, not even a hundred gigahertz, a hundred hertz less on the clock speed, which almost, which makes almost no difference in the performance whatsoever. I think they just wanted a little processor name change, which is why they did that 100 hertz difference. But you have the 9609, which is exactly the same chipset as the 9 as the 9610. Both processors are really good. The Motorola One Vision is actually quite a good device when it comes to performance. Day-to-day -day usage in the few days that I've been using it has been quite good. It is very snappy, very responsive.
positive and added with the stock android and the haptic feedback i have to talk about that haptic feedback all the time because it's that good um, i think the performance is really good coming to gaming i've played pubg on it for like 10 15 minutes and the experience was quite good uh, now we'll of course tell you all of it in detail in our full review that will come very soon to the channel so subscribe and hit the bell icon if you want to see when that video drops but till that i think the performance of this phone is something you do not need to worry about at all Now coming to camera inside the Motorola One Vision you have a 48 megapixel sensor at the back so this is not the Sony IMX586 this is the Samsung GM1 sensor but it's still 48 megapixels and apart from that you have a 5 megapixel depth sensor inside that punch hole you get a 25 megapixel camera which is amazing so uh, front and back cameras both are great resolutions here are a few pictures that we took using the phone we will refrain from our word until we have compared the camera samples completely and reviewed all of them but till that you can take a look at all the camera samples out of the Motorola One Vision and let us know what you think what your first impressions are on the cameras of the Motorola One Vision Now we finally come to battery and inside the Motorola One Vision you have a 3500 mAh battery. Now that battery is actually slightly smaller than I would have expected even from a Motorola phone. Because Motorola when it comes to battery is actually quite good. They've never compromised on battery. This comes with the 3500 mAh battery. I'm sure it has something to do with the aspect ratio of how uh, thin it is. So there is only so much battery that you can fit inside a phone without making it thicker than it already is. Uh, 3500 mAh battery inside the phone. Um now uh, now we'll of course tell you all the screen on times and the battery lives. that that's it in the 2 3 days of use the battery has been quite fine and when charging it up you get a 15 watt motorola turbo charger we see fast chargers from a lot of companies but motorola has been providing turbo power and turbo chargers since moto g3 so i remember moto g3 had a turbo charger and today we today a lot of other brands have fast chargers in the under 20000 price range or under 25000 price range but motorola has been in the game for a long time and with this also you get the turbo charger that actually charges up your phone very quick So that was the first initial look at the Motorola One Vision. This looks like an interesting phone, and with that 21 by 9 aspect ratio, I'm actually very interested to be using this device on a daily basis and reviewing it. So I'll let you know my final thoughts in my full review. But till that, stay subscribed to the channel. Let us know what you thought of the camera samples that we showed you in the comment section below. And with that, I leave you to it. Thank you so much for watching. This is Sri Hari with the Motorola One Vision from Mr. Phone, and I'll catch you in the next one.